asking that uh, uh, President Biden, since this is an international issue, we're asking that he step up. Uh, Department of Justice, uh, we visited there on last week. Please do something about this particular case. And we're not uh, asking, we're demanding. We don't want anybody else to go to Mexico and, uh, in fear that they might not return home. Calls for justice and action echoed loud in Lake City today by the group True Healing Under God. I'm Eric Weisfeld. This comes a day after it was confirmed Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown were the two Americans killed after their group was kidnapped by a Mexican drug cartel. And tonight, Woodard's father also remembers his son on what would have been Shahid's 34th birthday. WMBF's Julia Richardson was there when those remarks were made. She joins us now live from Lake City. Tell us more, Julia. Good evening, Eric. So just about an hour ago for the first time, we heard from the father of one of the men killed in Mexico. James Woodard held hands with his wife, Shirley, as he remembered his son's life. The news conference was held by John Barnett. He is the founder of a Charlotte-based activist group, True Healing Under God. Barnett says he doesn't want Shahid Woodard to be forgotten. He says he's calling on the Biden administration and the Department of Justice to step up and do something about this case. James Woodard says his son went to Mexico to help his first cousin, Latavia McGee, with a medical procedure, and so they could also celebrate Shahid's 34th birthday. He says the two were like brother and sister growing up. Now, instead of planning a birthday party, James says he has to plan his son's funeral. You know, that he was my baby, you know, he, and for him to be taken from me like that, um, it was it was very, very hurtful. But I tried to make sense out of it and try to be strong about it. But it's just no sense out of that because, it, you know, it just kept going in my head. It just was a sense of crime. And Barnett says he and the Woodards have a consultation with civil rights attorney Ben Crump tomorrow morning as they continue to search for justice. In Lake City, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.